The Florida Department of Transportation, or FDOT, Florida's Turnpike Enterprise, welcomes you to this public kickoff meeting. Today's meeting will introduce you to the study process, the project needs and goals, and provide information on how you can offer your input and stay connected. Existing traffic congestion, increased travel times, crashes, regional growth, and other transportation needs require that we work together to identify solutions for future mobility needs. Prior traffic studies show that if no transportation improvements are made in the study corridor, heavy congestion is anticipated as early as 2025. The study objective is to plan for the future and create mobility choices with the vision for a safe transportation system that separates longer regional trips from local trips to ensure the mobility of people and goods and improve quality of life in your community. The study is located in eastern Orange County along State Road 50, also known as East Colonial Drive. The project starts just west of State Road 408 near Woodbury Road and follows the existing State Road 50 corridor east for seven miles as it crosses the Econ Lockhatchee River until it connects with State Road 520. The Colonial Parkway Project Development and Environment Study, or PD&E study, is part of a multi-phase process where the preliminary engineering and environmental evaluations are completed. In compliance with local, state, and federal laws, the project team will define the project needs, evaluate a wide range of environmental factors, and consider various engineering designs to ensure that context-sensitive transportation solutions identified are consistent with the community vision. This PD&E study was started by Florida's Turnpike Enterprise in the fall of 2017 and is expected to be completed by the spring of 2019. A wide range of data has already been collected and analysis of existing and future conditions is underway. This information will help identify and evaluate a range of alternatives that address the project needs. Frequent communication and opportunities for public input will be integrated into each step of the study process. By the end of the study, we want to have gathered enough information to determine the best approach to meet the project goals. Tonight's meeting is the first meeting for the Colonial Parkway PD&E study. Today, the existing State Road 50 has six lanes from Woodbury Road to Avalon Park Boulevard, where the six lanes merge down to four lanes, creating a source of traffic bottleneck and congestion as the road continues east toward State Road 520. Other studies in the area have identified the need for additional State Road 50 corridor improvements. Prior FDOT design plans included widening State Road 50 up to six lanes between Avalon Park Boulevard and State Road 520. These capacity improvements will now be incorporated into the Colonial Parkway project. The Central Florida Expressway Authority's State Road 408 Eastern Extension PD&E study has eliminated the existing State Road 50 corridor from further consideration and is evaluating other corridors. This Colonial Parkway PD&E study is focused on solutions that maximize use of the existing State Road 50 corridor to improve east-west mobility for the region and the local community by including both additional local State Road 50 travel lanes already planned and new Colonial Parkway toll lanes to address all the needs identified by these prior studies. The study goals are to plan corridor improvements that will reduce congestion, create mobility choices, improve safety, enhance evacuation routes while avoiding and minimizing environmental impacts. We are also identifying potential solutions that embrace emerging transportation technologies. Today, the average travel time to work or commute time for residents in the study area is about 37 minutes, which is much higher than national, state, and Orange County average commuter travel times. How long is your commute time? Between now and 2040, Orange County population is expected to increase by 30% and employment by 31%. Increased delays and longer travel times are expected in the future if no improvements are made. Another contributing factor to traffic in the area is the increase in Florida's tourism industry. In 2016, Florida hosted a record 112 million visitors, including nearly 68 million people visiting Orange County. Almost half of those visitors to Florida arrived by car. Growth in tourism in surrounding areas, including Brevard County's Space Coast, has also impacted traffic as visitors use the roadways to get to their destination. There are many ways we serve the people of Florida, but improving safety is always our number one goal. 
There are a high number of crashes and fatalities along the study corridor. The numbers on the screen capture data from 2011 to 2016 and not the most recent crashes and fatalities. The study team is exploring innovative methods for the project, including enhanced lighting to improve safety on State Road 50. Within the 7-mile study corridor, sidewalks exist on less than half of the existing roadway. The existing gaps in sidewalks, bike lanes, and accommodations for bus routes limit pedestrian and bicycle mobility. Multimodal enhancements such as sidewalks, shared-use trails, and enhanced pedestrian crossings will improve safety. Prior traffic studies show over 54% of the existing traffic travels through the entire 7-mile corridor going west or east of the study area. Because the existing State Road 408 terminates at State Road 50, there is no alternate east-west mobility option for these longer trips within 14 miles of the study corridor. With the Colonial Parkway, through traffic would have reduced travel time and your community would have another mobility option to connect with major employment centers like downtown Orlando, the University of Central Florida, and the Space Coast. The Colonial Parkway would also separate regional traffic from State Road 50, improving local travel time to neighborhoods, businesses, and schools. State Road 50 is a designated hurricane evacuation route. When evacuation orders are issued for coastal areas and other local evacuation zones such as mobile homes or areas prone to flooding, major roadways like State Road 50 experience extreme congestion before and after the storm. The Colonial Parkway would increase the capacity of Florida's emergency evacuation network. Avoiding and minimizing environmental impacts is an important consideration for the engineering design process. In addition to planners and engineers, study team members also include biologists, wetland scientists, geologists, and hydrologists concerned with the preservation of natural, socio-cultural, and physical resources. The study corridor includes several significant environmental resources, including the Econ Lock Hatchie River, floodplains, wetlands, and conservation easements. By identifying potential environmental impacts, we can build avoidance and minimization measures into the project design. As we look to integrate all these project goals into the overall design, a key element of the study will be consideration for emerging transportation technologies. There are several technologies that can be accommodated in a new corridor to help improve safety, create efficiency, and minimize environmental impacts. Additional information on emerging transportation technologies being considered are available in the exhibit room. To summarize, we are studying potential corridor improvements along existing State Road 50, including up to six local travel lanes. Local access to homes, businesses, schools, and land uses will be provided through an enhanced State Road 50. Drivers with longer trips will have the option to travel through the corridor on Colonial Parkway where planned improvements include new toll lanes that will connect to State Road 50 and State Road 408. These corridor improvements will bring many additional benefits to the community, such as reduced congestion, enhanced mobility options for longer trips, multimodal enhancements, such as continuous sidewalks, bike lanes, and opportunities for transit connection, improved vehicle, pedestrian, and bicyclist safety, and improved evacuation and emergency response times. This can be accomplished with a focus on avoiding and minimizing environmental impacts and implementing aesthetic design elements like landscaping and lighting. Public meetings such as today's event are an important part of the process and will be scheduled to seek broader input at different milestones throughout the study. Our next scheduled public meeting is anticipated to take place in spring 2018 to present viable project alternatives. Alternatives will continue to be refined until a recommendation is presented at a public hearing, tentatively scheduled for winter 2019. Until our next public meeting, to stay involved in the study, there are a number of resources for your information. The project website is www.colonialparkway.com and will be maintained regularly with updates on schedule and progress. You can also provide comments and communicate with the project team via the website. The website includes details on wiki mapping, an interactive mapping tool for you to ask questions, get information, and provide your comments to share with the project team.
Be sure to sign up for the project mailing list to receive newsletters and notices for upcoming events. To provide comments at today's meeting, you can complete a comment form and drop it in the comment boxes provided. You can also submit a comment or view today's presentation materials by visiting our website. Email your comments or mail written comments to Abra Horn, Florida's Turnpike Enterprise Project Manager. Please also take the time to take a brief survey and stay connected. In the next room, there are large aerial photographs from 1990 and 2017. You can see how the study area has changed significantly in the past 30 years. Just imagine the changes we might see by 2045 and beyond. We appreciate your attendance and hope to see you at future meetings. Please visit the exhibit room to view additional information about the study and to meet with study team members. This concludes our presentation. If you have missed any part of this presentation, it will restart momentarily.